Alright, what's going on everyone? It's Joshua from Crypto Busy, and today we're going to be doing another episode of Is It Possible? Now, this has had such good reaction to this series, so I thought I'd continue it. So essentially, for those of you that were new here, um, this is a series where, as you can see by the title, we take an extreme prediction of a certain coin. Uh, we've done Cardano, we've done Zilliqa, and basically, we take that prediction, we analyse it, we look at technicals, we look at socials, and we see, is it actually possible? So... This isn't me coming out saying I think it's going to go here. I think it's going to go there. Right? This isn't this isn't a a price prediction on my part. But this is is it actually possible to do? So Stellar Lumens right now. If we have a look at the uh, the prediction first. So the one obviously in the title that I've used is forty five dollars, and uh, down here they say it. As you can see, forty five dollars in December twenty twenty. Right. Um. So you know that's. Probably, I mean, I say probably, it's pretty much definitely not going to happen, right? The fact that we would see a $45 Stella, you know, within the next six months is pretty crazy to think. And uh, it's definitely not something I would ever see happening. Now, uh, $45 in five years, however, we'll, uh, we'll analyze and see if that's actually possible. Um, apart from that, they've got some other predictions, which are a lot less. So we've got uh, yeah, the fourth quarter of 2020. We've got this saying it will trade at 1.6 cents. Well, it's already beaten that. And hopefully it will, um, you know, continue to beat that. Uh, longforecast.com says it will be 2.8 cents. Now, altpocket.io says in 2020 it will be $10 and $30 in 2025. All these different predictions, however, the main one we'll be focusing on is the $45 one, as that is the most crazy one, especially because they said by the end of 2020, which, uh, you know, we're not one of those channels that kind of sits here and says, oh, guys, this coin's going to go to a million dollars tomorrow, right? That's not what we're about here. We're about being grounded, doing real analysis, real social analysis, as well as technical analysis to really see where a coin's value lies. So if you do enjoy this kind of content, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as we do content like this every single day. So let's get into it. XLM or Stella is currently at 9.5 cents. Now it's had a huge increase in the last week. So it's gotten a lot more popular in terms of altcoin ranks as well as socially. So it's up 41%, which is huge. And if we actually have a look at the year chart, we're actually about minus 2% on the year change. So uh, this time last year, you know, we were seeing similar prices, which isn't too bad considering we've had quite a rough year in general for cryptocurrency last year. Um, so Galaxy score of Stellar Lumens on Luna Crush, by the way, Luna Crush is a, um, it's a platform which will rate the social scores and different metrics of a coin and it will give them a rank. So Galaxy score, anything above 70 is amazing. So 72 for Stellar is very, very good. So on the weekly, it's saying Stella is a buy. Um, alt rank, 5 out of 2041. Again, very, very good stuff there. Um, now let's have a look at the market cap, right? Because to actually calculate if this is going to be possible, we're going to have to do some market cap analysis. So the market cap is currently at 1.93 billion. And let's say that, so the price is at 9.5 cents. We'll round up to 9.5 cents to be, a, you know, for a nice number there. Well, that's going to give you 914 billion, right? And that is an extremely large market cap. Um, 914 billion is far larger than what we've even seen Bitcoin at before. So, you know, it's definitely not an easy feat. Is it? Is it possible? Obviously, that's what the series name is. Is it possible? Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say... It's unlikely, um, especially by uh, in the next few years, just because for Stellar to have a 914, that's almost a $1 trillion market cap for one coin alone, would mean the rest of the market would have to be in the trillions of dollars um, as an overall market cap. Now, I'm not saying that's not going to happen, but that also means Stellar has to be like an absolute top coin. Now, don't get me wrong, I really like Stellar as a project. I'm heavily invested. I really do think it's going to go places. But $45, 500x almost, I think that could be out of the question. Um, now, I know a lot of people might get angry, go to the comments and start typing, well, you don't understand this, you don't understand that. I'm just trying to be real with you guys. You know, at the end of the day, 500x, it doesn't really matter if it happens or not because most people won't even hold that long. Most people will wait for 100x or 50x or a 3x, you know? So um, at the end of the day, it's kind of what games you're waiting for. For me, an exit point for Stella, um, you know, definitely over the uh, $5 mark for me, I'm waiting, uh, as I do think that's possible, and that's a great gain. 
you know, anyone that says it's like a 50x gain isn't good, uh, hasn't hasn't tried stocks or anything else where that kind of gain is unrealistic. So uh, let's try and keep grounded here and say, you know, $45, it's probably not going to happen. Um, you know, technically it would be possible if tons and tons and tons of money came into the market. But as I see it, Stellar Lumens, I think, will do very, very well. But I think $45 is a bit too extreme. Um, let's have a look at some technicals on the short time time frame. So this is a daily, okay, a daily chart, Stellar to USDT on Binance. Now, obviously, we've had a big run up this last couple of weeks. So let me show you, or bring it down onto the four hour in a minute and show you some potential entries. Now, what I've outlined here is that we're clearly in an uptrend. These seem to be the main levels of support that we've bounced off up and had a nice run up. And uh, I've also marked out an area around the 8.6 cent mark to the 8.3 cent mark, which is kind of where I'd be looking to enter the market again. Now, I hold Stellar for the long term, but if I do want to trade it, I want to be buying near an area of value. And uh, that area of value would be somewhere around here, like I said, the 8.6 cent mark. So I'd be waiting for price to come back down to the 8.6 cent mark before making a reversal back up to, you know, highs of 10 cents, 11 cents. So that's something I'd be looking for for a more shorter term trade if it does get back down to that level. If not, we'll have to wait for it to form another area of support uh, for it to bounce off of. Now, that's just how I trade. And, you know, as you guys know on this channel, I like the longer time frames. I'm sure if you went down to the 15 and the five minute time frames, there'll be tons of trades you guys could take if you want to do that. But this is my personal style and I do believe that would be a good trade setup if it happened. Now, if you guys want to know how we actually find uh, trade setups and stuff and how you want to know analysis and you want to actually just basically let us do the hard work for you and uh, get coins given to you to buy $25 a month. And uh, I think that's a pretty fair price. Every single week, myself and Tom will be putting in uh, basically signals into a group chat. We'll say we're looking at this coin to buy and uh, we think it's going to go to this price at, you know, in the next week or two, for example, that type of thing. We'll give you entry prices, we'll tell you what exchange to buy on, and yeah, it's pretty much simple. Again, we take out the hard work from it, we do it all. Now, of course, there are risks with this. We're not gurus, we can't we can't get it right 100% of the time, so there is definitely risk, and remember that before you buy. But that being said, we have a pretty good track record so far. We've only made the group about three days ago, and we've got about 20 people on board right now, and uh, we've made over 30% profit. So, very good there, and uh, if you guys do wanna join, just go to patreon.com slash crypto busy. There'll be a link in the description and in a pinned comment. You can go there and once you pay, we will send you across the link and you guys will be part of the group. Let's look at what the other price predictions said, right? So we said there's a three to five dollars to 2025. Now that is what I think is the most realistic thing. I think a five dollar price point within the next five years is realistic. I think it could happen. I think it most likely will happen. Uh, and that's what I'm betting on. And that would be my exit point. Now, uh, there are other predictions, like I said earlier, $10 by 2020, <laughs> that's not going to happen in my opinion, uh, and $30 in 2025. Again, $30 in 2025, uh, I said earlier I think it could happen, but uh, it's still a bit of a push. Um, we'll, we'll just have to see how well they do and, uh, and how well adopted they are. But now, as a project, I have tons of videos talking about what Stellar is and what it does, but essentially they're trying to bank the unbanked, right? And that is a problem that needs solving and they've really done a good job so far. And I think they have a lot of backing from the community, uh, from certain partnerships. I'm pretty sure they have a partnership with IBM. So there's stuff there that's really building towards the success. So when I say $45 isn't gonna happen, that's not me saying I'm bearish on Stellar. By no means, I am super bullish on Stellar. But it's a long-term wait, you know, it's not gonna be going up Apart from, you know, this week, obviously, it went up really nicely, but not every week you're going to see that kind of price action. For the most part, it's quite a stagnant coin. So I'd say by the end of the year, we could be looking at, you know, maybe a, a dollar if there's a nice bull run. Um, you know, we've been at, I think, 93 cents is its all-time high. So we could see that be a nice 10 or 11x. But I think any more than a dollar this year is uh, is kind of wishful thinking. But again, like I said, let's just wait and see what happens. Crypto always surprises us. So we'll just have to wait and see for that. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you think about Stellar and where you see it going in the next three to five years. And uh, we can discuss it down there. And on top of that, subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this video as we do this every single day. And with that, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.